you guys, Jerry from Wave to Wave, and uh, we're at the shop right now. We're gonna look at uh, just a few of the, the things we did to the boat as far as hardware goes. So we got some pop-up cleats that are kind of cool, and uh, a pop-up nav light, uh, which looks kind of neat, pretty heavy duty. And we got, um, I want to talk a little bit about the rub rail. I uh, had some questions online about it, where we got it, and uh, what it is exactly. So our, our uh, cap, seam is really small in that boat so we went with uh, we want to use stainless we want to go right on the paint though a lot of people just put a stainless uh, rubber rail, solid rubber rail right on the paint but that that can actually be a bit of a problem because it doesn't protect very much and then it'll scratch the paint so we used a uh, vinyl backed uh, rigid um, rubber rail and then a, it's about an inch uh, of, of vinyl backing and then it's a three-quarter inch stainless that goes on top of that so the seam is uh, you can barely see the white it kind of blends right in um, which I don't mind anyway but it protects the paint way better and it's it just fits that uh, cap really well so that was uh, from Integrity Marine Corp I think it's called Barler Plastics their division for marine stuff but it's Integrity Marine Corp and uh, they were great yeah you can get tons of different designs and styles from them and uh, they have rigid, they have semi-rigid, they even have the flexible rubber ones if you want. So you can go on their website and find and then you want. Prices are really good too, so that's a good source. Um, the Finney's wind flaps are on. Uh, pretty much everything got set up too. We put the gauges um, in and uh, got them working. Everything's great there. Uh, got the Evernerd Icon. It's a three, I think it's a 3.4 inch or 4.3 inch, I can't remember. <laughs> so it's the small, uh, screen because we don't really need too much out of it. We just got to get our basic uh, uh, diagnostic stuff out of there, and we needed that screen too to switch from our foot throttle to our our hand throttle. That's a feature you have to get at least that size screen for. So it's prefer for a single engine. That's the perfect size screen for us anyway. And yeah, that boat has no stereo. It's kind of old school, and I like it that way. I don't really care about having a crazy stereo in a boat. And uh, sometimes I'll just bring a little portable speaker if that's what you want I just yeah I just rather listen to the the engine and the water and uh, I'm going deaf anyway so it doesn't really matter um, anyways um, yeah that's it so we'll take a look around the boat we'll just take a look at some of the details and and see and so far yeah really really happy with everything turns out the the color looks great like it's hard to see in the video I think but the in the Sun it's got this real kind of deep uh, silvery sparkle to it and out of the light it actually it looks really dark almost like a dark gray, so it kind of changes quite a bit. So the interior, it's, it's Wednesday today, the interior will actually go out probably Friday or Monday next week, hopefully. And then once that's kind of done, the dealer has to look at the, uh, or has to set up the steering and, and plug in the computer to the engine, get that going, and that's sort of just for the warranty sake. And and uh, it's a pretty simple system to set up, I believe, but just for warranties purposes and knowing the dealer did it uh, is is better for us and it's a brand new engine so you want to make sure it's all done right so we'll do that and that shouldn't take too long so really getting down to the to the final parts here it's been delayed obviously but I think we're we're in the home stretch as they say so uh, yeah let's look around the boat and, and take a look you notice here from earlier videos too is we have the um, the tank fill is at the about the middle of the boat and that runs down to the tank where you've seen it mounted obviously if you look at the build videos there's uh, it's mounted aft quite a ways but it actually does it's a long narrow tank so it goes pretty far to the middle of the boat and then we have the venting uh, out back so hopefully we're, we're hoping that by having that set up with the boat sitting in the water like a little bit lean back it'll actually fill a bit better so the venting and the fill so you don't have that problem where you're filling at the back and have an airlock or air airflow problem so we'll see how that works. Should work pretty well. Yeah, one thing we'll look at uh, as well is the uh, jack plate. So it's a Sea Star jack plate. It's a six inch uh, setback jack plate. And there's a few cool things about it that I really like. I like the tubular travel. It travels on a tube. So I, we did an article a while ago about jack plates and there's like essentially three or four different kinds of jack plates in the sense of design. So, and then this one is a, uh, it's channeled on these tubes which are really strong. So there's no flex in this one, and it's a fairly light unit, but super durable, and it's a dark anodized, it's like a black, almost like a dark gray, black color. It actually matches the engine quite well, so it really 
really suits this setup. So really happy with that C-Star system so far. And um, has a really fast travel. We're just actually waiting on the gauge right now to put that dedicated C-Star gauge in. Uh, the only thing we kind of screwed up on was we didn't, we weren't going to use that jack plate at first. And so we have a gauge that's sort of more for a different brand of, of jack plate. And that's actually not going to work anymore. So we got to sort of either use a different gauge in that spot, but we have to use the C-Star dedicated gauge, which will not match, obviously. So we're going to have to switch it out or use a bezel of some kind or whatever to try to figure that out. So basically, um, yeah, we're going to send the seats out. You'll see, I'll try and show you a thing here. So you can see that's the rear bench. And then we'll walk over and I'll show you the, uh, the buckets that were made. These are actually a foam, a foam bucket with a wood base. So they're actually pretty light, pretty strong, pretty light. And uh, they should work really well. And so, yeah, that's about it. I'll do a bit of a walk around and we'll, we'll sort of talk about different aspects of the boat and, and the engine and just a few other little things. But yeah, it looks really good. The color just turned out great. Everything's going really good so far. Just a matter of getting on the water and trying to set it up properly. We got to figure out what kind of prop we're going to run. Really don't have much of an idea so far. Probably want to run, just get a baseline. I'll probably run a 26 trophy should that because I have one already or a uh really am I trying a 26 or 28 Bravo but it depends how much you know a few things as far as how high we can wrap this thing and how heavy it is and and whatnot so generally speaking it's uh, a bit of trial and error and love to just see what we have and I think uh, I'm really happy with everything so far our boat just looks awesome that color was kind of a tough choice but I think in the end it looks awesome and it's super different than a lot of things you see out there it's kind of a dark gray metallic um, that Porsche GT Silver Metallic looks awesome in the sunlight too so yeah I think we'll just uh, keep moving along here hopefully get this uh, the steering and everything else set up at the dealer in the next couple days and then Daryl who's doing the interior from Unique Interiors he'll probably get the seats next week so today is Tuesday I think it's uh, August Tuesday, August 20th, a little foggy. Um, and so hopefully he gets those next week and he can get those sorted out in uh, probably a matter of days, hopefully three to five days, maybe a little longer. Um, and at that point we can put it together and get it on the water and that's gonna be the fun part probably and, you know, see if it works. It's an old boat, it's, you know, it's different now because the engine's so heavy and, and different in the setup, but uh, it should work pretty good.